empty the car, Brian. Empty the car! What does that mean? Now check your gauges with one eye while keeping your other eye on the road. My eyes go in the same direction. What's your tire pressure? I, I can't, I don't, I, I'm in the car. Stop! Demerit! Say we put in on the shoe, trying to catch a vibe. We do this every time, like, na 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 Feeling like I'm on the highway. Cause everything been going my way. And now they looking at me sideways. I'm like, na 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 This is where I wanna be, na 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 Never ever gonna leave What's up, heroes? Let's talk today, I guess I wanna talk about customer service. All right, it is the holiday time and I think that during the holidays, um, customer service just naturally, because everyone's busy, right? And people are frustrated, people don't care as much. Um, the customers are more cantankerous, right? So it just seems like it goes down, down the tubes. Um, I've had a terrible week as far as customer service goes. I've had several run-ins this week with it just, it just people don't care. It's like, it's like they kind of forgot that the fact that I'm buying something for them is what's feeding their family. <laughs> and instead, um, it's like they think that is an issue, right? So I've had numerous things between, you know, uh, a drive-through issue with someone getting an order wrong and then basically being like, it's not my fault. And like, it literally is. I literally asked you if I could order this. You said, yes, you gave me something else. And then when I said, this is what I ordered, you said, well, what you ordered is impossible. How is that not your fault, right? So there's been several things. Today we just, we'd spent several hours uh, with customer service for an issue. And it's basically the end of the day, we're like, yeah, we're sorry, we um, totally messed that up. Apologies, it's like, but it's really messing us up. And then they're like, well, um, our technicians will look into it. We'll try to fix the issue. I'm like, well, what are we supposed to do in the meantime? And they're like, well, um, well, we're sorry. It could be, you should be hearing from us within 10 days about getting it. And I'm like, what is happening to customer service? So there's a story and I'm gonna kind of, I think um, maybe can mix some of the details between two different stories, but it's gonna be mostly accurate, especially for the, the purpose of this video. Uh, Tony Shea from Zappos. Very sad what happened uh, to him recently. I know he recently passed, so uh, much respect to the guy and what he did with, with Zappos. And, uh, and don't just go out to the family. Not that they would ever be watching this episode, but just uh, found out about it recently. That's really tragic. Um, the guy was a brilliant businessman. I've listened to his the audiobook of his uh, like Zappos story three or four times. Anyways, there's a story where he was at a hotel and he, I can't remember if he, I think he had buddies with him. This is the part that I get confused. I think he had buddies with him and he was bragging because basically they wanted, they tried to go down to the hotel, it was late, try to get some dinner and they were like, yeah, the, the restaurant's closed. And um, he, I think he tried to call a play, like just basically everything was kind of closed. And so what he did is they were talking about it. And so he called Zappos and pretended to be someone else Again, this, <laughs> the details. Go look this story up because it's really good. So he calls Zappos, right? And he's he he basically calls their um, customer support. Now, some backstory on Zappos. They actually had um, they diverted a lot of their marketing budget into their customer service budget. The customer service. They literally wrote the book on customer service. And what what he did? So he calls them up and it's like, hey, so um, I have. It basically explains the problem that he can't find something to eat and he's starving. And the customer service person. It's like, looks it up really quick. And it's like, well, did you try? So yeah, yeah, they they don't deliver and I don't have a way to get over there and it's too, too many blocks away. So she's like, well, let me get your information. Let me call you back. She calls back in like less than 10 minutes later and gives him a list of several places that meet the criteria he gave her. This is a shoe company. You buy shoes on the internet and they ship them to you. And he's like, I'm leery to put this story in the book because I'm afraid that people are gonna start calling Zappos and overwhelm the customer support with random requests and stuff like this. Um, and he went on to give, there were several stories there. They give a story of a guy who uh, messaged in to support through their, their chat support. And basically was like, I like to refer to myself in third person. 
And the chat person was like, no problem, and started referring to themselves in the third person as well. And the two of them had this conversation referring to each other in, in third person. Like, the company is phenomenal with customer service. So, all that to say, I just wanna encourage you guys, no matter what you're doing, whether you're just, maybe you're just a friend of mine and you're watching this because you wanna help support me, I appreciate that. Maybe you're just, you know, and you're working a regular job. Do everything to the best of your ability, right? Um, there is a proverb, or it's not a proverb, but um, there is a scripture that says, um, everything your hand finds to do, do as unto the Lord. So the whole idea behind it is like, no matter what you're doing, do it as if it's like for, for the king, right? Like it doesn't matter if you are sweeping or if you are working in like the, the as a VP in the company, you always do your best. All right. Uh, one more story, and then I've got something special for you guys that you're gonna like. So uh, when when Kennedy during the whole space race thing, he he toured NASA, and he went around. He's asking everyone what they do. What do you do? Oh, I'm literally a rocket scientist, Mr. President. What do you do? Oh, I'm a such and such engineer. What do you do? Oh, I'm a data analysis. Blah blah blah. Right? All day asking people, and they're they're spouting off. They're like really qualified things they do. Um, then he gets to the janitor and he asks the janitor um, and he says, what do you do? And he says, I'm putting a man on the moon, Mr. President. He was the janitor. He was mopping floors. So it had been very easy for him to say, oh, I'm just the janitor here. I just happen to work at NASA. No, he was like, I'm helping put a man on the moon, right? He took what he did seriously. So in your business, whether it's you, you know, a, well, I don't have a big business. I don't have customer service department. It's just me and I sell supplements or I'm part of an MLM or um, I'm a salesperson or realtor or whatever it is. You are the face of, like you are the face of your company or that they're, they're seeing with you, right? You are going to be the determining of how well you do. Um, and so I want to encourage you in this season where it's really easy to like get grouchy, right? And start wanting to like lower the standards. I just want to remind you, go the extra mile, treat your customers like they're your lifeblood because they are, right? So in this vein, I got a present for you guys. I don't ever like any kind of bad situation to go to waste, right? So what I'm, that was not a quote of the Democratic Party, by the way. That was not an indirect quote. It's just something I've always done. Anytime something bad happens, I like to make something good out of it. And, and whether it be a lesson learned or some sort of action or something, right? I like to turn it around. It's like that whole turn that frown upside down. No, cut that part out. That was, that was corny. All right, here's the video. I have a gift for you. Yet in yesterday's episode, I referenced, or I talked about the, the um, hook story offer. And I talked about how you could go sign up. Don't worry, hold on, I'm not pitching. Don't, don't click away yet. This is the good part. I talked about the, um, the, uh, business growth secrets and how I, that week I, I've been going through the, and you could go and sign up for it and you'd get the whole week's worth of content um, of hook story offer. Well, what I want to do for you guys is give that to you for free. Freezies! That's free. So here's what you're going to do. You are going to just click on the link in the description and it's going to take you to a little page. You're going to put in your email address and then I will email you a link to that video about hook story offer. Normally, like I said, you have to be part of this membership. You can't even buy it. It's not even for sale. You have to be part of the, the growth, uh, business growth secrets, which I do. Yeah, there's the pitch, right? Like I do suggest you go and sign up for it. It's, it's really good. You're gonna learn a lot of stuff. It's only two bucks a month. It's amazing. Blah, blah, blah. Go check it out. The link for that will be there as well. But again, click that link. You put in your email and I will email you this video that you can't get any other way other than being involved um, in the actual membership. So that is my gift for you guys. And my way to give back after this really just crappy week of customer service, I'm just kind of fed up with it. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to make the difference here, right? None of these companies seem to care about me as a person, but I care about you. So boom, right now, go, go sign up, go click that link, go sign up and I'll email you that free video. You don't want to be rude. Okay, it's fine. Sorry, go. Go ahead and sign up. I'll wait. Still here? Still here? Okay, I see, I see what's happening. As long as I'm still here, you're still going to be here. So I'm going to go. 
So you can go sign up for that link, okay? I'll, I'll, I'll take the first, right? You're talking about customer service. Let me serve you. I'll take the first step of action. Here we go. I'll go first. You disgust me. Go click the link. Okay, disgust is a little strong word. I've been watching too much Elf.